This project started uh, quite a while ago. I've been involved since day one. Uh, so now that we can see the light at the end of the tunnel, I'm, I'm very proud and very excited that this uh, project is, is coming to an end. 2025 will be, will be finished up and floating out, and uh, that'll be a very proud day for sure. For the CGS portion, we're just over 80% complete on the CGS. Uh, the entire project is about 70% complete. It was, it was certainly a relief um, once we got the restart notification there, uh, I guess last year, last May. Um, it was a very exciting time, just kind of coming to the realization that we would be able to finish this project. It's definitely an engineering marvel. Um, this is the third of, of obviously of three structures that have been built here in the province now. Um, ours is a little bit different because it's a fully dry build. Uh, Hibernia and Hebron were a dry wet build. Uh, so they actually, when they got to a certain height, they went out into the water. And as they got higher, they went down into the water. Uh, we're, we're doing our structure completely in the dry uh, and we'll be floating out, like I said, in, uh, in 2025. Yeah, so the total structure is about 200,000 tons. We've got about 35,000 tons of rebar and 5,500 tons of mechanical outfitting inside the structure. Uh, but the total weight of the structure when it floats out of here, it'll be just over 200,000 tons. This is a, a drilling rig. One of the benefits of this structure is that we can drill 365 days a year. Uh, previously, all our wells were drilled with semi-submersible drill rigs. Uh, so this really gives us better efficiency for drilling. This will really extend the life of the sea rows by about 14 years.